Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today it's Prague. It's like 10.30 and it's a bit late, really late. You shouldn't be doing it overnight. But well, I'm going to be hitchhiking to Krakow. <laughs> I don't want to get like a bit bored taking like, the normal way. There's going to be hassle taking the coaches in a place I don't know. So I figure it's kind of like the same. I might as well just, it's just going to be the same hassle and a lot cheaper and much more exciting to, uh, to hitchhike. It's really a bit crazy. Some people going out. It's a bit loud here, but yeah, let's hope you get here. But uh, it's going to be fun. Like I hitchhiked before to Wales from London and it was bloody awesome. It was bloody awesome. So, uh, Hopefully, I'm gonna survive to tell the tale, but it's gonna be good. Wrapped up warm, with my tweed jacket, jumper, and everything, so. Cool. So I'm taking the, the tube in Prague from my hostel to the outermost eastern part of the city where I hope to get a ride. I was hoping to get a ride at point A, but that didn't really work out because the roads didn't really let me get on into a safe place where lorries or any vehicles could stop. So then I had to go to point B where I realised the same. So my instinct was just to carry on in the direction I needed to go along the E67 due east. No one can hear a thing. It's just like 11 p.m. and it's probably not the best decision to have like uh, come so late because there's literally no cars on the road. But there's like a there's like a road which comes into the motorway, which I think strategically is going to work. So uh, I'm going to go there. It's really quiet. I've, got, I've been to the petrol station. There's nothing there. Where else I've been? I've been to like a few car parks. It's, it's really quiet. I'll, I'll figure it out. Nice one. Hello! Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's so fucking quiet. Da -da. I'm walking in. I'm walking in between two like. Uh, just in the middle of the motorway. To be fair, on the big bit of grass in the middle. Eventually. Eventually I come up, I come to a petrol station at point C, a lot further than I expected out of the city. But now this is a safe space place to get a ride. Okay, hello, ciao. <laughs> got to the first stop and uh, just got some, got a snack and uh, yeah, it's been about five, six, seven kilometers walk for the last two hours, and uh, I think I've got my first ride, and uh, hopefully it'll be fine. There's no one speaks English, and well, I think we kind of get each other's body language, which is really cool, which is what I'm really interested to learn about just the people and, and just how everything works. So, see you at the next stops. Cool man, I got the, the coolest ride in a like big lorry. Uh, basically, she was going to Ostrava, which is perfect for me. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't get into sitting in a lorry every day, do you? And just before Ostrava, we stopped at a petrol station. This was my chance to get my next lift beyond Ostrava. And that's what I got. I got the next lift and I jumped out. It was so fast. You could hardly document it or anything. You just have to just get the ride and move. I got let out at point D just before Ostrava to get a lift across the border from Czech Republic to Poland. And then I got let out at point E. But this wasn't a really strategically good point because this was due north and all the rides were going to to anything north of that point, so Warsaw, Szczecin, Łódź, Wrocław, but not Kraków. So this caused a few problems at the time. 
but thankfully I've got a guy who hitchhiked when he was young and kind of understood my troubles and took me from point E to point F, which is basically going in the direction of crap. Thankfully. And then it was no problem getting a ride. I got a ride from like a, a football coach whose son's actually becoming a professional footballer. He was so cool. And, and eventually the whole ride took me about 12 hours door to door. Which would be a, would have been about the same if I took like an equivalent Polsky bus or train coach whatever. I've got to admit I got some really bad like bubbles of water under my skin, kind of sores on my feet. Like I had to limp for a few days, so I guess you really have to kind of have some good shoes, walking shoes, just in case you have to walk to a particular stop because I had no choice earlier in the trip. But uh. Yeah, it's all part of uh, hitchhiking, so uh, so you know. If you like this content, then please like, subscribe and comment. And uh, see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.